Welcome to Cliff on Cars and Things. I'm Cliff.
There's an escalator behind the bench. Here we are.
are sitting in a Tesla Model Y. First time in a Tesla for myself. Uh, I must say, it's, it, it's, it's actually more than I expected. The panoramic roof runs all the way from the A post to the C post. Uh, and then it just goes over your entire head. It gives you a wonderful panoramic view of the city above you. We are currently in Dubai on our way to Abu Dhabi for the day and we are privileged enough to spend the day in a Tesla. getting used to electric mode no exhaust no sound just uh, the wheels rolling on the tarmac but it's quite good and, um, and I like it Marsha do you like the Tesla I do but it's got very limited aircon vents at the back it's got limited aircon vents at the back so if you're ever in a model Y do sit in front <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to hide the AC tablet uh, um, in the center of the dash it really takes up a lot of the of the front section of the car the whole dash really is just about the tablet well uh, um, understandably so because everything is done on the tablet um, is it an tablet? I like the way it's showing you the vehicle moving in traffic so you see exactly where you are well that would be us in the red and then you've got your GPS on the right hand side of the screen to split the screen just a huge city this is Dubai <laughs> and then we have the metro Just seems to never end. Uh, that Toyota building? That Toyota building? Yeah, that Toyota building is the first building of Dubai. There was nothing on this road except this Toyota building. Really? Yeah. And how many years ago was that? Uh, it's uh, 30 years before. Now, they all this building just uh, 30 years. 30 years? Yeah. Okay. That, that was the building. Oh, this building. Yeah, this little building here. Yeah, these two buildings. Wow. It's got the chair to Yeah. 30 years ago, that was the only building in on Dubai this on this road. And and right now, you would never ever, never ever think that was the case because this seems like it, as if this has been here for the past 100 years. It really is fascinating. Really fascinating. And what, what range do you get on the Model Y? Uh, almost, uh, if you want a basic, if you want to buy a basic, you, uh, it will be cost you 250,000. 250,000 uh, uh, dirhams, yeah. dirhams, right? But if you add something like that, you need an, uh, another wheels, another wheels of the car, another uh, package of the car like auto autopilot and these things. Then it could be cost you uh, till three hundred thousand. So if you if you start ticking the boxes and you add extras, it goes all the way yeah, to three hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not a cheap car. Yes. Well, I think we should get Tesla in South Africa. We haven't gotten Tesla in South Africa yet. Yeah. I, I think there's I think there's one or two running around there which are privately owned. But we don't have Tesla dealerships, and I think it's high time we got Tesla dealerships, you know. And because uh, I really am enjoying this car, it's smooth, it's quiet, yeah. uh, it's well composed on the road, and uh, the finishing is great. I mean, leather. Yeah, you can uh, see where the 
AC's Yes, yes, of there course. Are the speakers and all the things it, it will. So this, this is all that's this all line is the AC. Is the aircon vent and it goes all across the dash. We get aircon coming throughout the entire length of the dash and just wafting cool air. It is hot in Dubai. It is the first thing you notice about Dubai is not the buildings, it's the heat. Uh, a lot of supercar dealerships down this freeway on the left and on the right. comfortable uh, uh, we've been in a couple of Lexuses since we got here and uh, those are comfortable I would say that the, the, the Tesla has a solid ride it feels more of a sporty ride than than, than a luxury ride you know so it's not it's not uh, uh, um, e-class uh, 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 kind of ride it's more of a stiffer sportier ride and uh, you can feel the suspension as it's working on the floor however I think you feel it more because there is no exhaust uh, sound that's going to mute that uh, um, road noise so you do notice it more and it and that sort of like amplifies the ride through your butt through the seat well I would say the good thing about that is that cars lately the suspension is, 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 is so checked out you don't get to feel what the vehicle is doing on the on the on the, on the, on the ground and then this gives you good communication as a passenger I don't know as a driver through the wheel but as a passenger uh, I can feel what the car is doing as it's riding along on the tarmac And here we have some Tesla models docked at the charging station. And right next to that is a Taycan, also docked. I'm here at Al Yili AMG Abu Dhabi. If you're ever looking for 
anything AMG as far as used parts, these are the guys to go to. I've come all the way from South Africa to find some parts for my W124 here. And it's just like a like an old toy shop of just old AMG parts. And I, I, if ever you're in, in Abu Dhabi you, and you're into AMG, you really have to come past this shop. Al Yili AMG Ab Abu Dhabi. And here we are. Just look at that. AMG steering wheels, leather bound, wood grain, clusters, R107s, 126s, W124s, grills, radios, Becker radios. I, I could just sit here all day, really. So I've got myself some gear knobs and some AMG badging here. Steering wheel. Ah, and here's my cluster. Not just any cluster for my 300E. Have a look at that. 320 kph, kph AMG cluster. I mean, out there is the warehouse and it's just packed with Mercedes parts, AMG parts. This is probably the best part of my holiday. Yeah. Far better than Burj Khalifa. I can tell you that. I'm, I'm, I, I like this place. A lot. Look at that. Look at that. Man. Here I am in the warehouse and uh, you can just see, see, it's just the shelves, top to bottom, Mercedes-Benz parts, AMG parts, if ever you're in Abu Dhabi or you're in Dubai and AMG, Mercedes are your thing, make a turn here, yeah. I'll heal you AMG, Abu Dhabi. Monza SPR V12. Most powerful V12 Ferrari to ever leave the Ferrari factory. Welcome to Ferrari World. Motor at the 
Hello. Okay. 